The Acton Music Project is dedicated to the ideal that everyone can make music. I think we need a theme song. A theme song? Yeah, a theme song. Yeah, every good TV show has a theme song. Is this a good show? It's going to be a great show. Oh, well, we'll see. Yeah, hey, I guess we'll. you got your guitar, right? I have mine. Why don't you play yeah. something? I got my yeah. bass. Okay, I can do that. Let's, cool. How about something like this? All right, I'm going to go get my sax. I could do some noodling. I got some lyric ideas. You guys want to hear it? Cool. Yeah. Yeah, go for All it. All right, I'll try it out. Making music with the Acton Music Project. Making music with the Acton Music Project. Turn up your amp and sing along. Write some songs that aren't too long. Grab a guitar and get in tune. If you can't do that, then squeeze a balloon. Making Oops. music with the Acton Music Project. Making music. With the Acton Music Project Making music is lots of fun So keep on watching now, don't you run Rock, jazz, country, and blues When we play, we don't wear no shoes Yeah, nice joke Yeah Everybody Making music with the Acton Music Project, making music. With the Acton Music Project. If you like the things you see, just tell a friend to turn on the TV. Now you might learn a thing or two, like how to play a mean kazoo. <laughs> hey, it's a good thing you brought that crack. Making music. With the Acton Music Project, Hi, I'm Ed Yost. Welcome to the Acting Music Project. Let's see who's in the studio today. Hey, look who's here, the Yankee Doodle Dixieland Band. Welcome.
Welcome, Yankee Doodle Dixieland Band, to our Acton Music Project studio. The original instruments in a New Orleans Dixieland Band would be what, banjo, piano? Well, piano is not so easy to walk along behind a funeral with a piano. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking more in the bar. Right? <laughs> there'd, be, there'd be brass. There'd be brass, yeah. right? brass as well. Yeah. Right? Trumpet, yeah. trombone. Yeah. In a bar, you typically would find uh, tooth, um, clarinet probably, um, generally not a sax, and in earlier times anyway, uh, except for a few brass, mm -hmm. like trumpet or cornet, or cornet yeah, often, yeah. Uh, and trombone, and um, a, uh, a bass of some sort. Could be a tuba, could be a string bass, could mm -hmm. be a bucket yeah. bass, mm -hmm. and a banjo probably, and a piano occasionally. I see. If you're not a full-time musician, what is your other profession? I'm an electrical engineer, uh, but I've been playing clarinet and saxophone since grade school, and uh, it's been the, uh, you know, a major joy of my life. So, recommend to all our viewers out there. Pick up an instrument, play it, and uh, you know you don't have to be great at it. You just have to have fun with it. Absolutely, Absolutely. have to be nice. have to be good enough to be able to stand the noise that you're making. Yes, <laughs> and there have been there have been times when that's been a challenge for me. I've gotten past those. Even if your family doesn't appreciate it, right? Well, that's right. Right. <laughs> your one set of ears appreciate it. Huh? Well, that was wonderful. Let's hear another song.
Now, if someone wanted to learn more about Dixieland Man to begin playing it, how would they go about it? Google <laughs> New Orleans Jazz. Google New Orleans Jazz. <laughs> <laughs> Part of it all. Yeah. Yes. As a matter of fact, I did a little look in, uh, to, on, when we were setting up to look at this, and the first band that recorded what's now called Dixieland or traditional jazz was the New Orleans Jazz Band, <coughs> spelled J-A-S-S. -S. Oh, okay. And uh, later they, they changed it J-A-Z-Z. It was the 1920s spelling. Uh, yeah, actually before, I think the recording was 1917, mm -hmm. the first, uh, mm -hmm. first Dixieland. Very good. Well, yeah. you sound very authentic when you play, played St. James Infirmary, I thought. I was down in New Orleans. <laughs> <laughs> Hi and welcome to Music Peace Theater. My name is Craig Vandera. And you know, listening to today's guest, the Yankee Doodle Dixieland Band, I was reminded as to why I really enjoy listening to Dixieland jazz music. And the reason is because there's always a lot of different things going on at the same time. But somehow when you hear the finished song, it makes this nice cohesive unit and you hear it as just one complete song. Kind of reminds me of the salad I had for dinner tonight. I was looking in the bowl and I saw lettuce and tomatoes and mushrooms and green peppers, all the different parts, but together, when they come together, they make a salad, which is one thing. Which one is the croutons? The croutons? I had croutons in there too, which is French, which is actually related somehow, I think, to Dixieland jazz music. We'll get to that in a second. Developed in New Orleans in the early part of the 20th century, Dixieland is one of the, if not the oldest forms of jazz music that exist. Uh, and much like the salad that I just mentioned with the croutons, it consists of several different styles, including brass band marches, French quadrilles, ragtime, and blues. Now, while the instrumentation and the size of the bands can vary a little bit, the traditional band consists of a core front line, which, which has a trumpet, 
a trombone and a clarinet, and also a rhythm section, which consists of guitar or banjo, a string bass or a tuba, piano and drums. The definitive Dixieland sound is created when one instrument, usually the trumpet, plays the melody of the song and the other instruments improvise around that melody. Now although the style of music began in the early 1900s, the term Dixieland didn't actually become widely used until after a group called the original Dixieland Jazz Band created a hit record in 1917. It was also during the same time that Dixieland Jazz spread from New Orleans where it began to big cities in the north like Chicago and New York City. In fact, the Chicago style as it became known, is still one of the four main active streams of Dixieland jazz. The other three are West Coast Revival, New Orleans Traditional, and Dutch Old Style Jazz. And the Netherlands isn't the only European country that enjoys Dixieland. Today, in addition to several yearly festivals that go on throughout the United States, there are also Dixieland jazz festivals held in Spain and Germany. Now when you listen to the next song by the Yankee Doodle Dixieland Band, see if you can pick out the different elements of the music and the different sounds that we've talked about, and also the different influences of the brass band marches, French quadrilles, ragtime, and blues. Well, that's it for this week. Thanks for joining us. For Music Peace Theater, I'm Craig Van Der Rock. And remember, support local music. Be local.
I thought I'd tell you a little bit about how to get started on a recorder. Now, a lot of people think, oh, a recorder is just a toy, but it's been a serious music instrument for hundreds of years. And the great thing about a recorder is it's inexpensive, at least for a student one. It's portable, and uh, it doesn't take any batteries. You don't have to plug it in, nothing like that. So it's a great place to start. It's got enough notes on it to play most of the songs you'd want to play. Now, to get a basic sound out of your recorder, you want to put just a little bit in your mouth and blow very gently. You can hold it anywhere to start. It should sound something like this if you're not covering any holes. Now to start getting some different notes, we'll start with our left hand and put your left hand on the top and there's one hole on the back that goes for your thumb and there's three holes at the top are for your first three fingers of your left hand. If you start with just your thumb and your pointer, that gives you a B. Add your middle finger for A. And your ring finger for G. With those three notes, you can play any three note song, and there are a lot of them, such as... something more complicated, you may need some notes in your right hand. For that, you take your right hand thumb and just bring it to the back for support. There should be four, full, four holes left for your fingers, and if you cover up all the finger holes, that will give you a low C. Now to figure out all the rest of the notes, there's probably a fingering chart that came with the recorder, or there are lots of them online. Now what if your recorder is not sounding quite right? There are a couple of errors that people sometimes make which are the most common. If I'm trying to play a G and it sounds like this, well you probably guessed already. I'm playing way too hard. I'm blowing way too hard. Blow gently with just a little recorder in your mouth. Now if it sounds more like this, or this, those were caused by me lifting my fingers just a little bit. If your finger's not covering the hole completely, you might not get the note that you want. So go out, get a recorder, and have some fun. Tell me, what is the significance of the red band around your <laughs> Well, for a couple of years, we have been using as a uniform Hawaiian shirts. Little summary. <laughs> well, so that we was a little play, summary. So we uh, yeah. voted. Actually, the uh, these these were came about in uh, in bars and such in the uh, early part of the last century and the last part of the eighteen hundreds. Mm -hmm. Uh, because they made one, when they started making shirts for men in, by machine, mm -hmm. one length, too long. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so this would hold it up. Nice. 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 nice.